welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad everyone stopped by today because today we are going to be doing a Star Wars themed creature. I'm going to be making a baby Toon Toon. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while and I finally got around to it. So let's get started on the project. Okay, first thing we're going to work on is going to be the sewing. So I'm going to show you guys the pattern that I have for this piece. To make this pattern, I simply just drew out a basic dinosaur shape for the body. So this pattern is going to be for the sides of the piece, and then up here is going to be the belly. And to make the inside parts of the legs, I just cut these off of the pattern, and you trace around that. So I'm going to get all my fabric cut out, and then we're going to start on the sewing. Okay, here's all our fabric pieces. You can see the sides, the belly, all the leg pieces, and we're going to start putting that together. So first thing we're going to do is sew the legs, so I'm going to pin those together and we're going to sew down the front of them. We're going to leave the back part open so it's easier to stuff later on. After your legs are finished, you can start working on attaching the belly to the piece. So we're going to pin the neck together first so that um, then we'll sew between the legs, the belly, and then going all the way down to the tip of the tail. After all our sewing is done, this is what the body looks like right now. I left it inside out because it's a lot easier to see where all the pieces are. With all the fuzz on the fabric, you really can't see the shape too well right now. And now we're going to start moving on to the clay pieces. Now we're going to move on to the clay pieces. I'm going to start with the horns, that way they're pre-baked before I add them onto the face and they're a lot easier to work with this way. So I'm going to be taking a strip of wire and then we're going to cover that in tin foil to get it a bit more girth and then we're going to cover that in clay. I'm going to be using my tools to add a bit of texture to it and then we're going to bake these in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for roughly 30 minutes. To start on the face, I have a large piece of tin foil. I have shaped into a rough idea of what I want the face to be and then like the horns, I'm going to cover that in clay as well. Once our tin foil is fully covered, we can start marking where we want certain details like where the eyes are going to go and where the nostrils are going to be. To do the eyes, I rolled out some small balls of clay and I pressed them into the face where I wanted the eyes to be and then I got some strips of clay to make the eyelids and build up around that. To make the mouth, I just took a strip of clay and I laid it out where I wanted the upper lip to rest and then I blended it into the face. I used my fingers and some of my tools to press in where I wanted the nostrils to be and I started sculpting the nose. I added a few pieces of clay on top of the muzzle, that way it could look a little bit more wrinkly. Once I have all the detail on the face that I want, I'm going to start adding the horns to the face. These are fully baked and cooled so they're not warm or anything like that, and I'm just going to press them into the sides of the face. Then I'm just going to cover up the base of the horns and start adding the little bumps and extra details to it.
Okay, now we're gonna work on the hands and feet of the Toon Toon. I'm gonna work on the padding for the feet and the hands first, so I'm going to lay some clay out on some tin foil and start sculpting that. Once these are sculpted, I'm going to pre-bake these in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for roughly 30 minutes. After they've cooled, we can glue them to a wire frame and start building up more of the foot. To finish the foot, I'm just going to put some extra clay on the top of it and then we're going to sculpt the nails. The top of the foot I am not going to sculpt or add any detail to because I plan on covering it with fabric. So the only thing that is going to be showing is going to be the claws and the padding. So the feet, hands, and face are all going to go in the oven at the same time at 275 Fahrenheit for probably about 45 to 55 minutes. Once they've cooled, we can start on the painting. For the painting, I'm going to start with the face and I'm going to paint the whole thing a solid white. That way we have a nice fresh base to work with. Now most of the paints I'm using for this piece have a bit of a metallic look to them. I really like that and I thought it would bring out a lot of the whites and make it look more like a snow creature, which Toon Toon is. After the white paint has dried, I'm going to add some colors to it to give it a bit more detail. I'm going to add some pinks and some blues and stuff like that. That way it makes the white stand out a lot more and look a lot more natural. For the horns, right now they look really orange. Um, once I add the extra details and the shadowings and stuff, this goes away, but I needed it for a base to work with. Right now I'm going to add some blacks and grays to add some shadowing to the piece. So I'm going to paint the inside of the nostrils and then shadow where like the horn creases are and different things like that. And then I'm going to start adding some white pearly paint to it to give it a bit more sheen and then we're going to start adding some blues. For the bumps that I have over the horns, I'm going to be painting this with a silver modeling paint so it looks a little bit more metallic-like. I really liked how this looked, and then I'm going to go over it with some glitter paint to make it really shine. For the eyes, I painted them white. I went over that after they dried with a brown so I could make the iris. And then I did the pupils with some black, and then I added some highlights to the eyes to make them shine. Okay, now I'm going to be moving on to the painting for the hands and the feet. I'm going to be doing the pads a kind of metallic pink. Once that's dried, I'm going to be using the same modeling paint that I used for the horn bumps um, to do the nails. I'm going to let all of that dry and go over it with a layer of glitter as well. Okay, before we start putting our Toon Toon together, I gotta do one more thing to the feet. I need to apply a layer of fur over the tops of them, so I have this really short white fur that I'm going to glue over the toes. And then once we're done, we can start putting everything together.
Now that our feet are finished, we're going to move on to attaching them to the body. So I'm going to take the fabric body that we sewed ahead of time and I'm going to flip it right side out and we're going to start gluing them to the ends of the feet. After that we're going to glue on the head and then I'm going to take my needle and thread and start sewing up the back of the body and stuffing it as we go. Lastly, we need a pair of ears and to finish off the top of the head. So I'm going to be taking two types of felt, a white and a skin colored felt, and we're going to glue those together in a layer. And then we're going to apply them to the face and glue on the last bit of fabric to cover the top of the head. And here is our finished Toon Toon. I think he came out really cute. I love his little arms. They're so cute and short. <laughs> his head did come out a little bit larger than I probably wanted it to, but he's going to be a baby anyways, and some babies have pretty big heads for their bodies, <laughs> and I thought it looked cute. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Keep an eye out for my next video because I'm going to be doing another Pokemon one. I haven't done one in a long time. I finally had time for it. And I'm going to be doing one that you guys have been asking for in the comment section for quite a while. And I'm super excited for it. So keep an eye out for that and I will see you guys next time. Bye!